guys welcome to today's video today we are doing some more sale ideas from Saks Fifth Avenue they're having a three-day sale I hope I'm getting these right 12 13 14 that is it it's on the already on sale items a 20 additional percentage off and some of these will be more than 50% off by the time you get to them Unlike the Nordstrom sale, I found an abundance of things I loved, and I did have to break this down into at least two videos. We'll see how it edits. I changed because it's super hot. So do take a look at dresses and skirts, and today we're going to do pants, tops, and shoes. And unlike the Nordstrom sale, I found some shoes that really, really work for summer and that I really, really love. Where with the Nordstrom sale, it, the things that I liked were winter, which is fine. I mean, we all got to buy for winter, but some of us like the pleasure of buying something and being able to wear it immediately. We're going to find more of that stuff here. So let's start with tops. And by the way, just check my description box, hit more. I'll have the dates and all that kind of stuff. You don't have to had to spend $15,000 at Saks to do it. You don't have to have a Saks card to do it. It's, uh, you know, it's nice. I love tops because you can kind of not do much of anything on the bottom if you have a fantastic top. My style, it just varies. I love a classic. I love boho. I like a little vintage. I like something with very straight lines, very almost utilitarian. I love color. I love white, sometimes black. Uh, I like bold and I like delicate. I like it all. So hopefully you'll find something in here that will suit your aesthetic. We're going to start off with an expensive one, but this is Saks. Not everything in here will be expensive. So if you are on a budget, just keep on watching. You might find something you like. I cannot stand how much I love this. <laughs> That's all. I love it. I love the way they styled it. Yes. Is this somebody, if you worked with, you'd know. Oh, she's the boss. Yeah. I, I just love this. But you could also drop the bag, drop the trouser, and wear it with a pair of white jeans. Not boot cut jeans. I think you want to get something a little bit cropped. And it would be great that way as well. So, office boss lady? Or maybe not. I hate the way they style this. I do not understand it. But this Chloe blouse is so, so pretty. Not for everybody based on the cut. Certainly, you have to either have a bra in this very unusual shape or amazing breasts that don't really need support. But it's so beautiful. I think Chloe does beautiful, beautiful blouses. Isabel Morant as well. So I don't even know, you look at this from the front, you think, great, basic, a nice basic. You could wear it with pants, you could wear it with skirts, it's definitely summer, and it's a great, fantastic basic. And then you turn it around and it becomes interesting. And that's what I think I like most about this. It's seems simple, but it's not. Dries Van Noten. I think this skirt is probably a pair and is of the same fabric, and I don't mind that at all. A simple v-neck, peplum, some smocking, which is very flattering if you have the hourglass kind of figure. Smocking can be very flattering if you don't, though, because it can put interest in that area in a positive way. Again, pants, skirt, whatever. I just think it's so, there's something very elegant about this. I think you could even do it at night. Maybe a straight skirt and a beautiful necklace. Dries Van Noten, really, they don't mess it up too often. Hear me out. <laughs> Fall leather bustier tube top, what? Yes. Don't think of it like this, though. You have probably seen women wear the classic button down with a bustier over it, and it just makes it look so amazingly different, chic, um, stylish. That's what I'm thinking for this. This could be that piece. You could wear it over a t-shirt, long sleeve, short sleeve, over a voluminous blouse, 
over a uh, more flowy kind of dress to really give it some shape right in the center. I can think of 500 ways to wear this and I wonder if it has a little bit of give to it since it is a faux leather. Very good price, honestly, for a piece like this, which I think is incredibly versatile. Really, really, really do. If I was at my fighting weight, that I would be getting. There are several blouses from Johnny Wass on sale that I really like a lot. I put several of them up here, but there's two of them that really sing to my heart, and the one called Halsey Silk Trois Top. I love red and blue together, and I'm not really big on red all that much, maybe because there's so much redness in my face. I feel that red actually looks pretty good on me, but I'm not attracted to it as a color, and I have very few red things. But here, it's silk, it's diaphanous, it moves around, it feels cool just looking at it. I think it's, a, I think it's just romantic and diaphanous. Here, kind of similar to what we did with Dries van Noten. This one has a collar on it, it buttons all the way up, but there's still smocking at the waistline and a little bit of a peplum, and I thought I'd just show you another way to go. Another bustier kind of thing, this one for evening. Are you kidding? This is so beautiful. This is something you would have in your wardrobe forever. You could wear this with a satin black skirt or gray, you know, or I really love when something is more casual, either on the top or bottom. So maybe actually something cashmere, like a cashmere skirt might be an interesting way to go. Incredibly beautiful. Here it's with a pair of slacks, works perfectly. Again, maybe something for a wedding. I mean, check out the vibe. You don't want to white out too much on someone else's wedding, but you could certainly accessorize it with a jacket in a different color. Really, really beautiful. It's like a piece of art. Another Johnny Ross. Like this very, very much. This one with the long sleeves, it looks like a very pale blue with red, is also very intriguing to me. I'm, I'm not sure which one I like the most, but this one it has that cherry blossom kind of look, which I like very much. Lafayette, New York. I love this. This is the kind of thing where you don't want to think. Maybe you're on vacation, or maybe you're just going to the farmer's market on the weekend. And honestly, how they style it here, over a pair of long shorts, just pop this on, put on a hat, and you are done. You're chic, you're comfortable, you're easy, and it's a good price for this brand. There's something about this that is very 60s to me, <laughs> but I kind of love it. So this is a sweater with a cutout. It also comes in black with white trim. I mean, maybe, I can't tell how long it is, but you could wear this with a short skirt. I think that would be really, really chic, like a, a true mini skirt that is maybe the contrasting color, the black, that is about three inches longer than the bottom of this knit. Uh, yeah, I could, see, I could see some ways to play with this. In fact, in winter, you could wear that, a short skirt, print or not, tights, boots, and maybe you would wear something underneath this. You would wear a thin turtleneck underneath it. Lots of ways to go with this. There's something very compelling about it to me. I'm trying to do these videos fast because I have so much that I love, so I'm not talking about accessorizing and how to put it together as much. Oh my God, I am sweating so much, you guys. Let's move on, Veronica of Beard. This looks like it is a crochet uh, tank. It just elevates everything. Instead of a wife beater, which is my favorite thing, you put on something like this. It's a little bit longer in the back than it is in the front. Chic, easy, wear it with a cuff, a leather cuff, and rip jeans like that. And uh, yeah, I love this so much. Not for summer. I'm going to show you close up what it looks like. Ooh, you know those leather shorts? with that cutout piece that I said looked a little 60s. 
this is a two-part blouse so it has the wrap kind of sweater thing and a nice flowing blouse I love this kind of stuff I love the interest without being frou-frou-y or little girly and I love that it's a wrap which is very flattering on my kind of figure and wraps if you are straight up and down wraps really help bring a line in that emphasizes or uh, it gives the imagination the belief that there is a waist that is going in there and I am absolutely sweating okay sweat break <laughs> it's tragic you guys tragic I uh, don't know much about this line but I found several things from this line that I love so this is I'm not sure if it's Sakai or let's say it's Sakai I love this top first of all I love a stripe I've said it before I'll say it again but just like that skirt in the first video that has something different going on in the back, this has that. It's the uh, traditional khaki green color, and there's a little zipper on the sleeve. It's a high-low. It's incredibly... It's stylish, you know? It says, I don't care about the rules, you guys. I'm doing what I want to do. I love this. And this is, uh, to me, this is a very, like, Frenchy kind of blue and yellow, little print, easy, flowy, cool, I'm not trying too hard, but I'm pulled together kind of blouse. I think it's, it's very, very pretty. Not too long. Sometimes the longer shirts make us look bulkier, but it's not a crop. It's, it's just, okay. When I was talking about a tank that is a little bit different than a t-shirt, this is what I'm talking about. It's in two colors, the lavender, no, but the cream, yes, good price. And again, here's just a nice little peasant blouse without being tragically peasant, if that makes sense. I have something a little bit similar to this that I love, and I wear it with a skirt. I've worn it with pants. You can wear it with whatever you want to do. And again, it's the kind of thing where it makes all the difference. Put on whatever trouser pants, whatever you want. Put on a t-shirt and you're like, eh. Or you put on this and you just look pulled together. Okay, pant land. Pant land. These pants, I actually have something very, very similar that are no kidding 30 years old. I, yep. Yep, yep, I still have them. Do I fit in them? I do not. Will I throw them away? I will not. They're very similar to this cut, which is extraordinarily flattering for those of us who have a waist and some junk in the trunk. This, I believe, is a silk blend, and when you look closer up, you can see there's this beautiful sheen to it. It's almost as if it's a silvered white. I would imagine this, you dress this down with sneakers, and a t-shirt or you can dress it up with high heel sandals and maybe a sweater um, a cashmere beautiful sweater Isabel Morant I usually just fall all over her blouses these pants huge thumbs up all right so this I can't from how do you pronounce this Devo it might be Devo New York take a look at these pants and take a look at them from the side I had a hard time finding pants on this sale. There's a lot in there, but there's a lot of really weird ass trends going on, like pants that are so long that you're dragging them, <laughs> which is like, well, those aren't gonna last very long, right? And the old pants, what are those called where the crotch is dropped almost to the knees? I can't remember what those were called. Those were there. I settled on some other pants that seem more wearable, more, not so this minute so that you could wear them for several years without feeling awkward and this is one of them and it just looks classic with a little bit of interest now these beige by ambush the way they style it it's like you are boring me to tears seriously but without that sweatshirt you can see that there's just enough interest here and this particular cut is very flattering on some figures that can't do other cuts as well. And there's a little bit of interest on the cuff, which I'm all about. Very, very, very 
cute. And you can, yeah, you can see how flattering this is without that sweatshirt. I've said it before, I'll say it again. No one looks good in a sweatshirt. These are the pants I'm going to try to get. I have a feeling I'm not going to make that. And when I first looked at them, I thought, nah, not so much. They're linen. Oh, you have my attention. I like the satin pocket. I love that it's a little bit cropped. I have a feeling it will be flattering on my figure. But look at what they do with the backside. I love that. So it's it's kind of looks like it's a mix of several different things. Part trouser, part almost like leisure wear, part cargo, and it looks like I feel like this is the kind of thing that I would get a lot of use of. Fingers crossed, it's in my size. <laughs> Here's another one that is similar, and maybe if those aren't available, which I just think those would be imminently more wearable for me, but I love these Philip limbs. It's the same kind of deal, but it's much more roomy, which you know what, this actually might be better for me. Nice little fold over, so there's definitely some interest. The color doesn't scream, you know, how unique, and the cut isn't screaming all oh, how unique, but it is unique, and a little bit of edginess, and I I quite like this. So that maybe that would be my second choice. I can't pronounce this if it's Lo. I don't think it is, L-O-W-E, or L-O-E-W. I know it's not like you think it is, but these panel pants, straight on, I'm like, no, what's the point? But I can see here, how they've nipped in the waist very nicely and it kind of moves out from there where it almost looks like it's a skirt. And I do love yellow. It's a simple, elegant way to do that panel look. You know, if you are my age, you have seen styles come and go and come back with a different name sometimes. This reminds me of the paper bag jeans. When I first looked at this, I thought they were slacks. I love the crop. I love the shape of the leg. But this is jean. This is denim. And I, I like both things about it. I like the cut. I like everything. Take a closer look. It's denim. Unexpected. I don't know how cool it would be, but it could be very thin denim. And it's certainly something that you could wear year round. All right. If you want something a little bit more edgy, these J.W. Anderson pants, super, super interesting, and you have to click on the link to see the different views to see what's going on. It's almost like they're asymmetrical pants, that their one leg is a little bit different than the other leg. And I've shown you a couple of shots here. You're making a statement with the pants. You don't need to be fussy after that. Let's talk shoes. Now, I did pull some jewelry but I decided not to make it too long, but I will show you this one piece by Paco Rabanne, which I think is fantastic. Love this. It's just, it just has a modern edge to it that I really, really like, but let's talk shoes. A lot of these shoes are summer shoes, and there's a lot of wood sole shoes, which I don't mind at all. This one is not. Now, this shoe by Sophie Webster is so not me, and yet, I look at the shape and I think that would be a flattering shape. I look at where the straps are, that could be very flattering on me. And sometimes, something that is not you is so you that it becomes you. Because of the big jewels on it, not my thing. But the colors are kind of not too loud, kind of this amber thing going on. And it's a good price. Alexandra Berman. You may like, I'm not so sure about the bows on the top of the straps for me, a little too bulky, but I like the idea of this shoe and I like the shape of it. I like that it's not a flat form. Schultz is doing something different. It's not two straps, but it still has that wood heel and this wood heel has a little bit of an interesting shape to it that I find very interesting. It reminds me of Japanese sculpture for a completely classic sandal if you have a narrow foot i can't wear salvador ferragamo wait is this ferragamo what is this yeah ferragamo no maybe i can wear ferragamo i can't remember but just a classic easy flat shoe i personally can't do flat shoes all that often i have had plantar fasciitis if you've ever had that you know how fun that is and i got it from wearing Tory Burch shoes, which are pretty much like wearing a paper bag 
around your foot, no support at all. I need to have a little bit of a heel because I also get um, in my Achilles tendonitis in my Achilles, so I need a little bit of a heel and I need a little bit of support. This may not offer it for me, but I wanted to call it to your attention. I love Clergerie, Robert Clergerie, and there are several things. Now, this orange shoe and the shoe that is more flat, this reminds me of a, ja a traditional Japanese shoe. I don't know what I would call it, but the women, I think, wore something in this shape under kimonos. That's really, really interesting to me. I don't think it would be flattering on my leg, but it's very, very interesting. And the orange one, a little more fun, a little bit of a 70s edge to it. And again, I've mentioned this before, I think that you can wear colors that are unusual with everything. Aqua Zara, these are so pretty. I usually don't go for this color. It's a color that's very, very difficult, but there's a gradient of deeper to lighter in this color. And it's just, the heel isn't too high. I love a sling back. And you could do a Carrie Bradshaw and wear this with jeans and not just wait for a special occasion for those to be gracing your feet. Another flat shoe, this one by Vince. Again, not for me, but maybe for you. Uh, Philip Lim. There's something really compelling about this shoe. I think it's the heel. It, it reminds me of half of a champagne glass. <laughs> I don't know, it almost looks like this whole shoe altogether is a sculpture. I, I just find this so, so, so compelling. Another Ferragamo, look at this, look at this sneaker. I can't do, but it's beautiful. Clergerie, this is very similar to the orange one in a different color. Cult Gaia, not sure if I can pronounce this right. This takes the sculptured wood heel to the next, <laughs> the next level. I do wonder about arch support with something like this, but it is compelling. <laughs> you know, I want to get something wood. Okay. Kate Spade, New York, this mule slip-on, it's, it's just a classic cut. It's a classic situation. It's a very good price. And, and that's it. This Schultz, okay, the acrylic heel I actually have a pair of Dries Van Notens with an acrylic heel that I've never ever worn and it was a green and then there's suede on the upper and it has a very retro kind of look and I just, I need the like 20s kind of look, modern kind of look. I just haven't figured out how to wear it and this kind of reminds me of that. This is something fun and playful. Again, probably because it's pink, you can wear it with a lot of things. You don't want to pink it up with this before you start looking like Barbie. And the price is very good and it might just be your summer sandal this summer. I have had shoes like that where I buy a pair of mules and just they're by the door. I just put them on and I wear them with everything and by the end of the summer they're trashed but they weren't necessarily quality shoes so that could play into it just a little bit. These sandals by Manolo are my favorite of the flat sandals that I've shown you. And it's not completely flat. There's a little bit of movement up here. Yellow, you know, I think a yellow like this kind of goes with everything. Very nice price. Add the 20% off, even better price. And it will hold my wide feet together so the whole foot will be on there. Manolo's can run a teeny bit narrow, not like other brands that are super narrow. But I really like those. This shoe from Bettina Vermilion reminds me very much of a shoe by Givenchy that came out well, 10 years ago, maybe, that I was obsessed with. And I have a picture, I'm positive, and I'll put it in here. And the idea behind this shoe was don't dress it up, dress it down, wear it with jeans. Um, it just reminds me of that because of the sequins, because of the heel, because of the shape. It's very, very compelling to me, but it's not for dressing up. This is, you know, I think that buckle tells you this is not dress up time. This isn't for evening. This is for day, for having fun. And then finally, this Manolo sandal, it's just a lovely sandal. It doesn't look like it's too high. It looks like it might be a four. 
I love this color. This particular color, this teal blue, just sings to me. It comes in two other colors. Flattering, delicate, pretty, Manolo, not a bad price for a Manolo. Add the 20% and the price is even better. And that's going to wrap it up, you guys. I hope all the shoe stuff was in there. I, boy, I sure did sweat a lot <laughs> during this. But that's going to wrap up this sale. I have to say, if you love clothes, I feel like I had more fun playing, looking through these than I did at Nordstrom's. Not that I didn't find good things at Nordstrom's, but there were better blouses here than at Nordstrom's and the shoes were much, much better. I just didn't see any summer shoes there. And here, so many interesting pairs of shoes and I love the wooden heel. I might be, I have a pair actually from Diane von Furstenberg that are quite old and I wore once and I realized these are so narrow that my feet are kind of coming off on both sides and there's straps holding me in but I'm thinking I'm literally gonna fall off these shoes and they're kind of high I love the wood but I'm you know I, they're by my door for donation I do want to get something with a wood heel I do and that's gonna wrap up today's video you guys thanks for spending some time with me Please be sure to check out the links below. The sale starts on the 12th, 14th, it ends. And, uh, you know, be sure to check on the 11th when I'm posting this because you never know. The Nordstrom sale, I think, started at 9 p.m. So they're probably going by New York time. If Saks is going by New York time, it'll be 9 p.m. on the West Coast, which isn't bad. And that's gonna wrap it up, you guys. Until we meet again, be safe and smart, and I'm wishing you good health. Lucy! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> what? Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Ow.